Indonesia has revealed a medium-altitude long-endurance UAV, the first one, to be produced by the country. Vehicles in this category are designed to fly at altitudes of between 3,000 meters and 9,000 meters for extended lengths of time. The airframe of the UAV, with wings that span 16 meters, was revealed in the hangar of state-owned aircraft manufacturer PT Durgantara Indonesia PTDI, in West Java. The PTDI president said that the UAV-2 has a maximum flight time of 30 hours and a maximum cruising speed of 235 km per hour. The drone, which is designed to carry 450 liters of fuel, can carry a maximum payload of 30 kilograms. It is to use an engine made by the Rotax Company of Austria. Development of the vehicle was initiated in 2015 by a consortium consisting of the Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology, the Defense Ministry, the Indonesian Air Force, the Bandung Institute of Technology, PTDI and PT Len Industry. The consortium has also been supported by the National Institute of Aeronautics and Space. LAPAN, which was assigned to develop the vehicle mission control, which would include its flight control system, long-range communications and recording. The UAV project involves the development of a flight control system produced in Spain. The system is to be integrated into the vehicle by engineers from BPPT and PTDI. The UAV could be used not only in military combat missions, but also in aerial surveillance pertaining to illegal fishing and logging border and outer island patrols and to detect terrorism activities. China has slammed a new U.S. defense bill, which includes measures to strengthen Washington's ties with Taiwan and support for Hong Kong's pro-democracy protesters, saying it blatantly interfered in China's internal affairs. The tough-worded statement by China's top lawmaking body came a day after President Xi Jinping told President Donald Trump that U.S. comments and actions regarding Taiwan, Hong Kong, Xinjiang and Tibet were harming ties between the two countries. The National Defense Authorization Act calls for a report on the treatment of minorities in Xinjiang and to improve military ties with Taiwan, which Beijing regards as a renegade province awaiting reunification, by force if necessary. Cambodia and Vietnam have signed the pact to continue defense cooperation over the next five years including in ensuring security and safety in border areas. A defense ministry statement said Defense Minister General T. Ban signed the pact with his Vietnamese counterpart General Go Juan Lich, during a visit to Vietnam. During his stay in Hanoi, General Ban attended a trilateral meeting between Defense Ministers of Cambodia, Vietnam and Laos. The 30th All People Defense Festival and the 75th founding anniversary of the Vietnam People's Army. The statement noted that during their meeting, General Ban and General Go reviewed the results of the cooperation between the two defense ministries over the past five years and penned a roadmap for the future. It noted that the two armies have intensified their partnership in logistics, technology and defense industry while the search and repatriation of the remains of Vietnamese volunteer soldiers and experts in Cambodia during the Civil War bore good results. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.